The story is a first-person perspective following Vraska as he leads the Phyrexian invasion on Ravnica. Throughout it, he's fighting in a mine, twitching between the Phyrexian mine corruption and her original self, as he's destroying the city and turning people into Phyrexians, and taking their eyes out because she really hates eyes, I guess? Anyways, she briefly goes to the prison she was kept as a child when a spark ignited, and destroys it then returns to her home before she became the Golgari Guildmaster. She reminisces about the simplicity of her old life, traveling planes and bringing home artifacts, and grabs the thematic compass she used on Ixalan and hides it within her before the Phyrexian part of her mind takes over again. More invasion stuff happens while Rao Zarek shows up and fights Vraska. The compass points at Rao, and before Vraska can attack him, he punches a device in his hand into her chest and hits the button that activates it as he collapses. Inside Vraska's mind, he sees Jace and he shows her all the evil he did in his past while the two share a kiss and they grow older in her head, staring in embrace before she dies. In an aftermath, it cuts to Rao, annoyed that he's been up so long and just wanting to sleep. The Ravnica has succeeded in holding back the invasion and have rid the plane of the Phyrexians. He and his husband Tomic are all working to clean up Ravnica of all the bodies, and during this time an Izzet lieutenant tells him that they were unable to find any signs of Vraska's body and the story ends. 